like Venmo, Zelle, Cash App, or PayPal? Well, all of those apps, of course, have inherent risks associated with them. So joining me this morning to walk us through those risks is Doreen Striley, the Associate State Director of Community Outreach for AARP North Dakota. Doreen, good morning to you. Good morning, Every Heidi. Every week, it seems like we're talking about a different scam, and it's amazing yeah. to hear how many different scams there are. This one, I actually was a little cut off guard for, because, I mean, I'm in my 20s still, and sure. um, I think a lot of people my age use these types of apps, and it can be scary I guess so Venmo yeah it's pretty common I guess I don't yeah know. It, it it can be common yeah. let's just talk a little bit about yeah. what these are for those who don't know um, Venmo and Zelle and PayPal and all those are apps mm -hmm. that you would have on your phone and they allow you to transfer money between yourself your mm -hmm. friends your hairdresser right. whoever yep, cleans your tips. house yeah. you know it's a convenience thing and it is kind of a cool way to do it um, so, you know, what we have found, though, is that it's kind of being um, abused and what people are doing is looking like your friend on Venmo and then getting you to transfer money to them. So you're saying it's not really your friend on the other side. Right. Okay. They may know your friend's name yeah. and then do kind of a look-alike name and if you're in a hurry and you're transferring money, um, you might be doing something else and it's like, oh, it looked like it was Connie. Well, no, it wasn't Connie. It was somebody else that mm -hmm. I just transferred money to. And the kicker is, is that once that money's transferred, Heidi, yeah. it's gone because it goes out of your bank account. There are no protections on these peer-to-peer, -peer, um, mm. you know, apps. But, I mean, you can use them, but I think there's a lot of safeguards that you have to put in place and be careful of. Okay, so let's talk about those safeguards because when we were in commercial break here, you asked me if I used them, and mm -hmm. I do. Mm -hmm. And I do notice with Venmo, I guess more specifically, you find your friend, and then it asks you what are their last four digits of their phone number. Oh, okay. And so to me, that's the safety feature, but maybe you're gonna say something else. Could that be part of one? Well, that is a good, I'm glad to know that they have mm -hmm. that two-factor yep, authentication. Yeah, when I'm not friends with them. Yep, that's okay. what I noticed. But. That is really good, and two-factor authentication is recommended. Mm -hmm. The other thing, too, is if you're not sure, double-check with that friend. Yeah. You know, text them or give them a jingle and say, hey, did you mean to ask me for this money? Mm -hmm. um, you know, so if you're not sure, it's really much better to use a credit card. Yeah than even a debit card because at least a credit card has a lot more protections for you. What about cash? I'm a cash girl. I like Me to give, too. so where does that stand? Is that still better than maybe these apps? Cash is still great. Yeah. I mean, cash is always gonna be the easiest thing to transfer when you're in mm -hmm. person. Yeah. Um, mailing cash is probably not recommended, of course, mm -hmm. you know, but I too like to carry cash and, and have that on hand. And I know it's hard um, for a lot of people to, to manage that and to do that, but mm -hmm. I'm, I'm, I'm with you, I'm kind of, yeah, have just some cash safety. on hand. Yeah. Now, kind of going to more of the red flags, would there be urgency in any of this besides that alert? How would we know, like on the lower end maybe, or maybe on the upper end of those threats? Yeah, completely. Um, it is, it's an urgency deal. It's like right away, I've got to have this money or, you know, um, I'm, I'm in a jam. Can you please send it to me? Um, it's going to be those urgency things that are red flags. Um, and it's going to be probably when you're in the middle of doing something else mm -hmm. that you're not paying close attention and this kind of stuff can happen. So um, really slow down when you're using these apps and they can be helpful, but know what you're doing. And I know Zelle is used by a lot of banks and credit unions. Yeah. Um, so, I mean, it's something that maybe your bank or credit union can talk to you a little bit more about too. And, get some safety precautions in and, and what they recommend as well. That might be another good way. How often do these types of peer-to-peer -peer scams happen? How frequently? Well, I tell you, 13% of people who mm. use these things have said that they have sent to scammers or have been, mm. you know, um, yeah. lured into it. So a fair amount. I mean, I think it happens more than we think. And here again, it yeah. always doesn't get reported. So people, we don't right. know exactly what people um, are experiencing because a fraction of a lot of the scams just um, are reported and so many of them go unreported, unfortunately. Yeah, it's it's sad to see your money go, right? And you never get, <laughs> no chance of getting it back. I knew I said I wasn't gonna throw you a curveball question, but <laughs> Apple Pay, where does that come? Is that kind of in that same realm uh, of the apps or is that a little bit more secure? You know, that is a wrench because I, you know, Apple Pay hasn't been mentioned in a lot of the stuff I've been right. reading and researching on this. So that's good. Um, it's more of a wallet thing. I yeah. know I have it in my wallet on my phone. Mm -hmm. 
Yeah. Um, and I feel pretty good about it. Yeah. But um, again, I think all those red flags that you watch for on any app, you should watch for on an app like that probably too as well. Yeah, absolutely. Everything. You just got to keep your eyes peeled pretty much. Absolutely. Doreen, where absolutely. can we find more information about ARP and scams and just so we can maybe report things as you, well? Absolutely. Mm -hmm. And reporting it is important. And if you're not sure, we've got this great helpline that's on the screen, this Fraud Watch Network helpline, 877 908 3360 and you can call them it's it's answered by volunteers from AARP who will tell you yeah. um, some give, give you some good advice and let you know who you should contact based on what you're telling them and then we've always got our website too with more information at aarp.org slash fraud absolutely we want, want we want you to keep your money <laughs> yes that's right that's all we're doing so thanks Doreen thanks, we appreciate Heidi. it absolutely Thank happy you. Easter happy Easter